Hi, I'm Leanne Napier and I'm an iBloom team member. This week we are in week 12 of the I Choose to Love My Life journey and we're concentrating on I Choose to Identify My Spiritual Gifts. Have you ever taken the time to think about what God has unique, uniquely gifted you with? I remember a day, it was actually in college, when I realized something that had been a gift to me that I thought everyone had. We were at a challenge course and several of the team members that I had, we were resident assistants and we were there for a challenge course activity and it included a zip line and we were going through it well, everybody was having fun and most of us, it was our first time doing the zip line and one of my um, peers was getting ready to go up there and she panicked. She did not want to do it and we had pretty much all gone through at this point and so she was one of the last ones to go and I just didn't want her to leave without having that experience. I knew how fun it was and that yes it was scary but it was something that she could definitely do and I just knew that she could and so I found myself cheering for her um, just kind of asking her to give it a try and to do it and I mean she was so scared she was crying actually she did not want to do this at all but I just kept encouraging her and I wasn't paying attention at all to what other people were doing around me but later that day it was brought to my attention that I had encouraged her to do that in a time when she was frightened and scared and just didn't want to do it and so it was one of those things I don't know if you've ever done it where people go around and they write things about you on a piece of paper after you've had a day or a retreat or something like that together and one of the main things that was on my sheet with my name at the top was encourager and it was at that moment that I realized God had given me that gift of encouragement up until then I had just thought it was something that everybody did and everybody had um, and that everybody wanted to do but it was in that moment that day that I realized that was one of my spiritual gifts since then I've taken that to heart and I've tried to look for other ways that I can encourage people whether it's writing notes making phone calls or just saying a nice thing to the person who's checking um, checking my groceries out at Kroger whatever it is but taking that time to be encouraging you never know if you might be the only person that gives that person encouragement that day now as you think this week about to figuring out what your spiritual gifts are, I pray that you would take the time to look through um, the assessment that is available for you on the iBloom resources website and also that you would just take the time in the book to identify some things that you think are your spiritual gifts and also pray that God would reveal those to you because until you know what they are, you can't give generously to others. Thanks.